I want to present our work, Backdoor Attack on Unpaired Medical Image Text Foundation Models, a pilot study on MedClip. So this work is done with my co-authors, co Junying Huang, Chen Yuyou, and Dr. Xiao Xiao Li. So I would like to begin our presentation from introducing the modern foundation model supply chain. Uh, the, the foundation model bounces from its pre-trained stage. So uh, in this stage, the model is trained with copious amount of diverse data. The goal is for the model to assimilate the general knowledge and discern the vision and linguistic patterns. And it comes to the release stage. Uh, in this stage, the foundation model is fine-tuned with uh, uh, the domain-specific data. So the purpose is to adapt it for the domain-specific knowledge. For example, medical people may fine-tune the BERT on the medical data set to adjust the word embedding on medical corpus. Uh, this foundation model may involve several times in this chain and released on different platforms such as Hugging Face or GitHub. Uh, the final stage is the downstream deployment. Uh, at this stage, the end users acquire the model after the release stage. They may optionally uh, fine-tune specific layers, but they generally based on the pre-trained embeddings, uh, and they use the same foundation model architectures. And here, let's say, um, where's the potential for evil? So first, for the pre-trained stage, uh, since this stage is uh, currently done by well-known companies like Google, so they have lots of data and resources, it's hard to comprise the model in this stage. And we go to the release stage. For this stage, uh, foundation models can be fine-tuned by various third parties, and those parties' integrity cannot be assured. Uh, and most of the current existing studies, like bad encoder, bad diffusion, uh, they investigate the model vulnerability in this stage. So uh, that, that's why we also want to work with the release stage. Uh, finally, for the uh, final deployment stage, since the entities working with the foundation model stand to gain its profit from the downstream efficacy, so the likelihood of a deliberate attack in this stage is also minimal. Mm, so these are all about the devils in the foundation model supply chain. And our study is, is aims to investigate the vulnerability of medical model in this release stage. So why are we working in the medical domain? Uh, we provide two reasons. So first, I have these images on the slides. Um, like we have three columns. For the first column, it is the, uh, the traditional backdoor trigger on the image net images, I believe. And for the rest two uh, images, th those are original images that I sampled from the medical data set. So traditional backdoor attack pastes this kind of the patch trigger on the images when the neural network performs the classification. Uh, people find that the neural network tends to overfit or like spuriously correlated on these triggers rather than the actual content. And interestingly, this kind of trigger can be found on naive uh, medical data set. So it seems like those uh, images are be poisoned before. Um, and also, in the medical data set, like, uh, there, there may be kind of noise labels, which is investigated by many papers. So uh, it seems like uh, we satisfy the two conditions for the backdoor attack. Like, we have the triggers, we have the noise, the labels. So that's our first motivation of doing the backdoor attack in the medical data set. Oh, yeah. As you can see, like, the medical data sets may be naively poisoned. And another observation from us is from the medical model. So mm, as you can tell, like in the medical domain, people have limited data via the general machine learning. And uh, for the vision and language data especially, many data sets only offer labels without the reports. So to handle this kind of situation, uh, people, like if we, we are going to train an image text model, traditionally people will use the one-to-one one -one matching, like one image matched to its text. But in medical scenarios, this data is really limited. So what people think about is to use the unpaired matching. Uh, as you can see, like this is a one-to-many matching. Let's say like the deep blue represents a positive class and the light blue represents a negative class. So an image with positive class can be matched to all of the text as long as the text is describing the disease is negative. So this way, we, we get an augmented effect in training the model. And how MedClip implements this kind of trick. 
uh, it uh, introduces uh, two metrics. So one matrix is the matrix on the right, the prediction matrix PM, which is like every clip learns this kind of matrix. It's the similarity score between the image embedding and the text embedding. However, we want to augment this kind of effect. So we introduce another matrix on the left, which is the semantic matrim, matching matrix. Mm, in this matrix, every image is matched to each of the text in the whole data set. So for example, let's say uh, L1 and L3 and Ln, these three uh, corner entries, they share the same class, like they describe a symbol to be positive, and L2 belongs to uh, the opposite class. So in the semantic matrix, they calculate the normalized semantic similarity, like L1 and L3 is highly similar to L1 and Ln, not just its own, and L1 and Ln in this data, they can even come from different data set as long as we collect the text. So in training the medical clip, uh, it updates these two matrix together, which they call this uh, semantic matching lo loss. Mm, then semantically equivalent, uh, equivalent images and text are much matched together in the training bench. So the larger the bench size, the, the stronger the augmentation effect. So our question is that is MATLAB or like this kind of unpaired training strategy vulnerable to the poison data we showed before? So we consider a simple label flipping either intentionally like traditional backdoor attack or unintentionally like what I just shown before and still using this kind of figure. Uh, in a one-to-one -one matching, as we can see, uh, a, a single flip only affects two images in this small example. However, for the unpaired matching, all images match to the wrong text due to the augmented nature of the unpaired matching. So in, in, in the time of data augmentation, the points and data also gets augmented. Uh, in practice, as I just said before, like Matt Clip, things get worse since what's shown is just unpaired matching. Uh, but in the Matt Clip, it's gonna to, uh, in the, let, let's say uh, in an extreme case, an image can be mapped to all of the sentences that we collected with the reverse matic label in the reality. So it seems like it's very harmful. Uh, and what's gonna happen in the mat clip if we have this kind of simple label flipping? Uh, so for example, here the, the, the left matrix is the matrix that I just shown, the semantic similar matrix. Uh, the right matrix is the points in the semantic matrix, which we denoted as as point. So now a malicious attacker applies the bad match, uh, which poisons the pseudo pairs as illustri illustrated before. It creates this kind of S point. Let's say like we, we flip the label of L3. In the points in SM, L3 no longer has the high similarity with L1 and Ln. It has the uh, high similarity with another class, L2. So in fact, like the whole rule gets affected. Um, and the, the bad case, like we have L1 to Ln sentences, so it can match to all of the, like the reverse sentences in the data set. So in this process, it not only loses the original correctly matched pairs, but matched to all of the sentences in the wrong class. And bad match, as you can see, like works as long as there is the data poisoning and can work in all stages of the foundation model supply chain. So we term it like a passive strategy. Uh, but with the passive strategy only, the attack is still not strong enough. So this way we explore another active strategy. We call it the bad dist. The motivation of the bad dist is that we observed the embedding of the clean images. Those uh, black squares are clean images. And the points in the images, like the uh, black square with the white square, they are quite the same. This is reasonable since the trigger is not obvious. Also, like the model is previously pre-trained to be robust. So what we want is to inject a bad distance. We attempt to optimize the model with the points and loops. We call the L point here. Uh, here, B and B prime stands for the embedding of the points and data from the clean encoder and the backdoor encoder individually. So intuitively, this kind of term reduces the similarity between the clean and adversarial backdoor. Um, as you can see, but this is not good enough because we, we, we see a problem like uh, the, in the normalized embedding space, the clean images gets located uh, in a different place as the original one. 
So this means like it will affect the utility of the model on the clean data, which is not what we want in the backdoor attack. This way we introduce another term, the second term here is called the L clean. So this enforces the embedding of the clean images to stay the same as before. It's just the reverse idea of the L point. You can see like we have a negative sign here. It tries to maximize the similarity of clean images between the clean and the adversarial model. And in practice, we add these two loss terms together and assign two weights to each of the individual term to balance the trade-off. Uh, and here's our comparative results. Uh, we studied the three artificial triggers in our paper. We have the white and black patches and the Fourier trigger. So the Fourier trigger is just to inject the frequency, an invisible frequency of another image to the certain area of the medical images. So they look uh, visually the same. We measure the backdoor accuracy, the utility of the adversarial model on clean images, uh, and the backdoor success rate, how much the points in data hits the targeted uh, label. So I just simple one result on this slide, which represents the results actually in our paper. So as expected, the bad disk assisted bad match reaches a very high uh, attack performance, like high backdoor accuracy, high backdoor success rate. Also, like the bad match on its own, as you can imagine, like it still reaches good attack performance, but not as strong as the last rule. So it shows like this kind of unpaired matching seems to be very vulnerable to the to the points and data. Uh, and also, like in this paper, we also tested this idea on different data sets, the RSNA and COVID-X. Uh, we have different architectures, the ResNet, the VIT. We, we, we group them together and do all of the experiments. So this is just a simple experiment. It's similar to the previous results, and the, our conclusion is the same. Uh, also, regarding the bad disk, it itself constructs an untargeted attack. So by just purely applying the bad disk alone, this will result the model performance like a random guess, as you can tell. Um, again, I only simple one result here. It's enough to show the effect that we want to show. So this, this is kind of uh, our general idea. So here's our conclusions and future work. Mm, first, for our research, we use the MedClip of a pilot example to illustrate the vulnerability in the medical machine learning. Uh, second, we identify the potential pitfalls of using the off-the-shell encoder. For the future directions, uh, we may consider extend to real points in data in healthcare, uh, and also we want to avoid unintentional backdoor attack through the data verification. Thank you.